Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Welcome to a Target Favorites video. As the gardeners, I know I'm not supposed to film on Thursdays, yet here we are. I feel like this is a little bright, yeah? Nope. But hi guys. So I recently did an Amazon Favorites video. I can link that up in the corner. And somebody asked if I could do a Target Favorites video and I was like, that is a great idea. So here we are. The truth of the matter is I buy a lot of my life at Target, like everyday necessities, stuff for my child, stuff for us, you know, hygiene stuff, home stuff, all that. But I made this video just like exclusive Target items you can only get there. So most of it is like home stuff. Let's try this again. My child woke up, had to tend to him. There's gardeners, we're just gonna we're just gonna go through it, you know? I don't know what I was saying, but everything I'm sharing is Target exclusive, things you can only get at Target. I thought that made a little more sense. And of course, there's a lot more in my life that we once purchased at Target, but these are things that are still available now as of November, 2022. And I'm, always, I'm so worried I'm forgetting something, but we can do this again if you guys enjoy it. So let me know if you do. Check the links down below if you see something you like. And yeah, let's just go ahead and get into it. We'll start with home stuff. We'll start with this. So this, everybody and their mom talks about this, but like for good reason. This is the rope coil basket situation. I bought two of these when they first came out there. We have the white color for Ludo's toys. I wanted something in the living room we could just easily clean up his toys, throw them into, something he could get into, and he does. When he was a puppy at first, he was playing with the actual basket, but now unless he's really feisty, he leaves it alone. <laughs> but since we've purchased so many of these, cause they're pretty sturdy, they stand up nicely. So they're great for everything. Like I said, we have one right there for Ludo's toys, one downstairs. I have a bunch in Milo's closet for backup toys, his travel items, just like a whole bunch of storage. I have some in the downstairs closet. I have this one, which we treat as like a, um, it kind of goes up and down the stairs. So if we're downstairs and it's there, we fill it up with stuff that needs to go upstairs, empty it, and then fill it with stuff that needs to go downstairs. Which if you don't have one of those baskets or like something like that in your life, may I highly suggest. So absolutely grateful to have a two-story home, but the stairs really get you. They really do. But these come in all sorts of I was gonna say shapes, no, just the one shape, but all sorts of colors and sizes, um, and I love them. So I definitely wanted to mention those. I, they're very popular, I don't think they're going anywhere. And they also have this really nice leather strap, which you can take off, and then it can just be like a handle. I mean, I'm sure it's not real leather, the pleather, if you will, fake leather, whatever. But yeah, we completely love these. Another kind of along the same lines favorite are these fabric cubes. I needed some organization for Milo's room and so I got one of, you guys, this video is the hottest mess ever since the time change, like the light in here is just different and I'm trying to film at lunchtime and I gotta learn to film earlier. So I apologize about the light in the background. But I needed some organization in his closet just for backup clothes for the next size up, some extra toys, blanket sheets, all that stuff. So I got one of those like six hole cubbies and then you get these little fabric cubes to go in them. And I absolutely love them. The fabric cube itself is great, but I love this print. It's like this brown orange color with these white specks. Also, something we just did when we traveled to Chicago, I vlogged it, I can link it up in the corner. Um, we've taken several road trips with Milo and I've learned to bring just like a basket of toys to make it easier. Milo is a very toys oriented baby, just to make it easier. Cause hotels can get really messy. They're a smaller space. It's a lot of you in one space. So just like at home, we have toy baskets or bins everywhere. Just having a basket or something to put the toys in at the end of the day. Cause I always travel with a little play mat, something he can like spread out on and make a mess and have fun. Um, so I wanted that for Chicago, but I couldn't just like throw a basket of toys in the car because we were going on an airplane. This folds flat. So I put this in the bottom of our carry-on and there you go, an extra little bin for toys for traveling. It was a genius idea if I do say so myself and I came up with it all on my own. I didn't even Pinterest it, so. I love it mostly for the way it looks, but it is very purposeful. I love that cubby system so much. I'm thinking about putting one in our downstairs. We only have one like closet downstairs, but it's a ginormous one and I need some like organization in there. So I'm thinking about doing that as well, but they have a lot of cute prints and they're so cheap. They're $4 a cube, which is awesome. Now into more home decor. You guys know I love the Jungalo Opal House collection at Target. I have a whole haul video. I'll link it up in the corner, which basically I'm just going to be telling you the things I love from it that are still available. The dish towels we love. I have another one. It's like a yellow print, but it's dirty, but I'll pop in what it looks like. But the towels are such nice quality. Um, they're great for drying your hands, great for drying dishes, and they're cute. They wash really well. They're cheap. The word cheap doesn't sound nice. They're affordable, and they just look like they came from anthropology, but for half the price. So I love 
this pink one. This one has tassels, so it's probably more of like a bathroom one, but we use these all over the house. I feel like the gardeners are so loud, I'm so sorry. <laughs> this one's probably my favorite, just like these um, brown and salmon and white stripes. And then like I said, the yellow one we love too. So whenever I see a jungle low towel with a print within a print I like, I'm gonna buy it because they're just really nice towels. One of my very favorite faves from this whole video is this pillow. I feel like a lot of people have this pillow. It's very cute. It's long, as you can see, so it's a bit more pricey. I think it's it's either $30 or $40, which even if it is $40, it's still a good deal for this incredible pillow. This is like the greatest pillow of my life. I got it when I was pregnant, which was perfect because it's kind of like a body pillow, but even now that I'm not pregnant, it's incredible. Like I have it on the couch downstairs. It's the greatest napping pillow in the world. It's so comfy, cozy, but it's also cute. I like that it's long and like takes up a lot of room on the couch. This like navy stripe mat is our navy couch. It's just absolutely perfect. My sister owns this. She loves it as well and it's still available so snag it while you can but it's just so cute. Would make a great gift as well. So this pillow is my best friend. <laughs> Many naps have been had on this pillow. Also one of my very favorite things which I couldn't bring up because it's full of flowers right now but the Jungalow black and white. I call it my Beetlejuice vase. It is so cute, so chic, and so well made for only $15. I'll put in a picture of what it looks like or some b-roll whatever. And I remember it was last year's fall collection. It came out. It sold out immediately. I was on the wait list. I waited forever. It finally came back in stock. They sent it to me and it was broken but they replenished it. No problem. And it is the best. I just I really waited for that picture but I can confirm it was worth the wait. I love it. If you want to use it as an actual picture, it's super cute. I usually have it out on the counter with flowers in it. I might try to reconfigure. We have way too many utensils to do it now, but it would be very cute on your kitchen counter with your kitchen utensils in it. Like it's just a very cute and versatile and affordable item. Like anthropology looks for target price. Now this exact bowl I don't think is available anymore, but they have this bowl in smaller sizes in black that are still available. So I will link those down below, but I just love the scalloped edge so much. When we threw Milo's birthday party, which I have vlogged, I can link it up in the corner. I was so excited to pull out all my big bowls and dishes because we made the food here and we served it like family style and I think I put my fruit salad something in this but I was so excited to use it it is so cute you know you could of course use it for more than just parties oh when I picked all my grapefruits off my grapefruit tree I made like a centerpiece with it with like the red and this like muted yellow it was incredible but it's also just like nice quality like her stuff I don't know how they do it. It feels really nice, but it's more affordable. So um, like I said, I don't think this one's available, but the same idea in black and you get a four pack and I, I don't know why I haven't bought it. I want them. I've been wanting them for a while, but I'm just impressed with her like stoneware stuff. Speaking of stoneware, this is from the Boots and Barkley stoneware collection. So this is a dog bowl. I actually bought this before we even knew we were getting a dog. I just thought it was a cute bowl. I don't know what I was gonna do with it because now it is just like a really shallow dish for water or for dog food. Um, but I just loved the polka dots on it. And <clears throat> when we got Ludo, we didn't really know. We kind of find, found him on Pet Finder and like drove the eight hours to go get him that day. And we weren't really sure what was gonna happen. But luckily when we got home, we had a dog bowl. So I pulled this out for him. <laughs> and that's exactly how we use it now. I actually got another one. So he has water and food in matching dishes. We just have it on like a silicone mat downstairs. But then they also have this larger size. It is a bit more of a navy color and a bit of a different pattern but they're both so cute from that same line. We keep this big one in the bedroom. He's a, he's a thirsty boy. He drinks a lot of water. So we have this in the bedroom, two of these downstairs for food and water. So again, so affordable. They clean really nicely. I've had the, we've had the dog for two and a half years and they've lasted great. So um, yeah, they're just like, I feel like they're cuter than just like the stainless steel dog bowls that you see. They have a lot of plant pots that I love that have, you know, come in and out of stock. But one that I have that they still have and I love is this little, I guess like polka dot ceramic planter. I have my little heart um, plant in here, which when I first bought this, it was only the two hearts. Then it grew another heart for Ludo and then it grew another heart for Milo and then it stopped. Isn't that so sweet? It's doing this weird thing, which it did it before and I thought it wasn't supposed to do that. So I cut it off and then that was a bad idea. So I don't really know what it's doing, but I love this plant and I love this pot. They also have it in a larger size or had it. If they still have it, I'll link it down below. The same pot, just a larger size with pink polka dots and yellow. And it's just super cute. So thought I'd mention that and it was eight bucks and it does have a drainage hole, which is super cool. So for fashion for me, nothing that I currently love is still in stock. Um, but I did just want to mention, I absolutely 
absolutely love the Knox Rose dresses. I am constantly on their website looking at the new releases of the dresses. They have nice sweaters too. I don't own any of them, um, but I love the Knox Rose dresses. I have several from them. I wear them all the time. My very favorite dress that I own, it's like the red one that I've I purchased during pregnancy and I just wear it still all the time, is from Knox Rose. I also love Universal Thread. This dress is from Universal Thread. I have a lot from Universal Thread as well. Shirts, dresses, sweaters, these hair clips, which they do have very similar hair clips to this in stock right now. I will link them down below, but I love the Universal. I've had purses from them as well. I love that. I'm always looking at those sections. And then for baby stuff, I'll tr if I can find some specific clothing pieces that are still in stock that I love, I will link them down below. Um, but for the most part, I love the Cat and Jack stuff. They have a really super simple and cute and just kind of more like more my vibe, if that makes sense. Like there's a lot of baby clothes out there, but a lot of it I don't like. <laughs> and so it just has more like simple prints and cute patterns, solid colors. Um, and a lot of their like one onesie little bodysuits are $4. Like there's one in my mind, it's camo print and it's super cute and it's only four bucks. I'll link that one down below. They always have the best like seasonal stuff, more dressy items. So as I'm filming this, like I said, it's Christmas time. I just got the cutest little Santa sweater for him from Cat and Jack. Um, they just are more on top of like the trends and the cute stuff and the stuff is really soft. Some of it can be more pricey, but a lot of it is super affordable. So that's what I look for when I go to Target for Milo. They have also a brand called Just One You or something. It's Carter's, but for Target, but I have a hard time finding anything past 12 months. So I don't know. And also for Milo toys, you guys know I love the Love Every brand. That's like a subscription box that makes really awesome developmental toys for your child's specific age. They send a box every few months. They have a line at Target with very affordable, awesome toys. I'm going to be doing, stay tuned, a baby toddler gift guide and a lot of all of the toys will be in it. And I will link all the toys down below, but they have like a hide and seek box where you put the ball and then you can open the door and get the ball out. Milo loves it. These are really cute stacking rainbows, puzzles, stacking cups. Like he loves it all. We have all of it. They sent all of it to me, which thank you love every so much, but it's all available online. You should definitely check it out if you have a child in your life. The Love Every toys are my favorite and Milo's very favorite toys. So the fact that I didn't know that they had to toys at Target, once I discovered it, I was like, oh my gosh. So definitely check those out if you have a baby in your life and you need a gift or you just want to give the baby something for no reason. But okay guys, that is it. Thank you so much for watching this video. I'm sorry it was a hot blinding mess back there and my child interrupted and the gardeners. Thank you for hanging out with me anyway. Like I said, I will have everything linked down below. I know it wasn't a huge favorites video, but again, things don't really stay in stock at Target. I will be doing a holiday home decor haul soon, and I have a few things from Target, so stay tuned. I'll have my face somewhere you can subscribe, as well as some videos you might enjoy or you might have missed. But yeah, I love you guys so much. Thank you very much for taking the time out of your day to watch this video. I was thinking the other day that there's a lot of things to watch and intake. Like the world is so saturated right now with things to watch. And it means a lot to me that you chose however 20, 15 minutes to watch this. Like how great is that? So thank you. But I love you guys. I will see you very soon in a new video and I hope you have a great day. Bye.